guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Emmy. Welcome to my channel, thank you for joining me. If you like these videos, then don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you want to see some swatches and you want to see how I got this eye look with this palette, then keep on watching. No, I'm a little late on the bandwagon, but I thought for the people who haven't bought this palette yet and want to know a little bit more about it, I thought I would make a video. But I've had this palette for a month now. This is the box that came in. I love the packaging on this. The box looks like this. You open it up, and then the naked palette is inside there. You pop it out of there, and what I really liked about this was this, like, little thing. Like, there's little matches. I think that's, like, so cool. And on the back of that, there's also roses. So, for the first couple of weeks, I kept my palette in this because I didn't want to get it damaged. It was such a beautiful palette, and I wanted to take really good care of it. So I decided to keep the box, and the box is just so beautiful that I had to continue holding on to it. This is what the palette looks like. It's definitely different than the other palettes. This is the Naked 3 palette and then this is the Naked Heat. It's the same size, but it's definitely different compared to the Naked 3. The Naked 3 has like, I don't even know how to describe this, it's like, I feel like it's more like aluminum or metal of some sort. So, mine is like really old so it's like falling apart and I like apologize. It's definitely more sturdy than this, like as you can see this one like doesn't stay closed, like it is open. I don't know if that's because I traveled with it so much that it's like over and done with its life. I definitely think that this is a little bit more sturdy. It is plastic so yes it'll definitely like crack or probably break or something if you drop it or throw it which I hope you wouldn't do that to an eyeshadow palette. So right now on Sephora.com it is $54 for this palette. There are multiple shadows just like all the other naked palettes. I start with the neutral shades and then they move towards the deeper shades at the end. It says under the details on Sephora.com that it's an eyeshadow palette featuring 12 amber hued neutrals. It says it includes warm browns, burnt oranges, and rich siennas. Most shade driven naked palette Urban Decay has ever created, which is totally true, but I'm so glad they came out with a palette that is more fun and can get people who are used to those neutral shades to experiment more. What's really nice too is this palette is formulated without parabens. So if you're somebody who does not like using makeup that has parabens, you are free to go ahead and use this palette. Came with this little brush. They usually come with brushes in every naked palette. A little bit different. Let me see if I can find my other one. It's probably dirty, so I apologize. But this one's from my Naked 3 palette. Better, longer brush, the same. But on the opposite end, it doesn't have this pointer brush like this. The more fluffier brush, which I think is really nice because it helps get into the crease. I'm going to pick some shades that I really like and show you guys how they are. Well, I'm definitely going to take He Devil because I really like He Devil. So I'm going to do one swipe. That's what one swipe looks like. And I'm just going to wipe it on my hand. It looks like that. I'm going to go through and I'm going to do Dirty Talk, which is the next one. This one's definitely smooth. It's very metallic, so I love that. I like to use this one as a lid color. See, as you can see, it has a color shift. So it's like a burnt orange, but then it color shifts to gold. And then there's another one called Scorched. This is a little bit deeper than Dirty Talk. I'm going to put that on this side. So that's what that looks like. It's definitely more burgundy. So I'm going to do in Fuego. Hopefully I'm doing that right. Saying that right. <laughs> um, this is like a just a dark burgundy color. This is a matte color. I'm going to go through with Ashes. Which is their like dark purple color. I'm going to put that right next to it. The first color in the palette that's called Ounce, the lightest color, it has a tiny little bit of shimmer to it. I'm just going to put that on my hand. I'm very pale, so a lot of stuff is not going to show up, so I apologize. But I hope you guys can see that it kind of color shifts a little bit, slightly, like a pinky hue to it. Um, so that's perfect for under your brow bone. I feel like that the shimmery shades really need to be prominent because they are so gorgeous. <laughs> We'll 
see what happens because I'm just gonna go with the flow. I have a bunch of clean brushes, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a neutral eyeshadow. This is just a eyeshadow palette that I have. This is called Studio Makeup on the Go. I'm pretty sure I got it from BoxyCharm. I'm just gonna take that nice neutral shade and set my eyelids. I already had concealer down. I already did my face makeup, so hopefully I don't have too much fallout. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that second shade, which is called Chaser. And this is a good transition shade. And I'm just going to take this huge fluffy brush. I really like it for transition shades. The eyeshadows are kind of powdery, so I would recommend to kind of tap it off a little bit. Mostly I just tap into the palette. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy little blendy brush this is a BH Cosmetics brush. I have no idea what it is. I think it says 101, but all of my brushes are like wearing off. So I'm going to take this shade here. It is called Low Blow. And I'm just going to put that into my crease. As you can see, this eyeshadow is warmer on me. I am very pale, very pale and very spared skin. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush and I'm gonna start taking He Devil, which is that cayenne kind of pepper color. And I'm going to take a tiny little bit of that. I'm gonna tap the excess off and I'm gonna start working it in the outer corner of my eye. my crease. I'm going to take that big fluffy brush again. Blend that. Also, I didn't tell you guys, this is um, this is called Emacs Designs. My um, co-worker, she got me makeup brushes for Christmas, so I love them. They've become like my number one go-to brushes, so that's the brush I was using. Take Low Blow again, and I'm just going to blend that into the crease to help me blend these colors together. I don't even know if I said this word right earlier. Enfuego, Enfuego, I have no idea. I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna start taking that into my outer V, patting it. These um, shadows are really buildable, so I love that. They are nice and blendable. They don't go away when you blend them. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for the crease. I think I'm going to take Dirty Talk. It's the more coppery tone that I showed you guys earlier. And I'm going to take that on this little Royal and Langwinkle um, brush. This I'm pretty sure I got from BoxyCharm too. I'm going to start patting that on my lid. So as you can see the first swipe you can already see that pigment right there. Being gentle because I don't want a lot of fallout considering I already have my makeup done. So that's that. It's like a beautiful copper tone. I love it. And I think because like my new obsession right now is darkening the inner corner too, kind of doing like a halo effect, I'm going to go through and I'm going to take the shadows that I did before and I'm going to put them in my inner corners. I'm going to take that little fluffy brush again that I use for my crease and start blending. I'm going to take the shade He Devil and start blending it into my crease. Take a brush and kind of just brush away the fallout that we had in there. If it wasn't too bad. It looks like it wasn't that bad, so that's nice. Go through and I'm going to take this little flat brush again and I'm going to take the shades that I did on the top lid on the lower lash line. I went and took Decaf by TG, so that's the nice coppery color um, on my waterline. And now I'm going through with Tarte's Lights, Camera, and Lashes. I did that is the eye look. I definitely think if you guys are looking for a palette that will give you a nice look for the fall and get you feeling ready for the season, then I would definitely recommend this. I think because I want the eyes to be nice and prominent, I'm just gonna go through with a lippy stick by ColourPop Cosmetics. This one is called Frida. Yeah, I like this, because this is nice and neutral. These lipsticks are nice and really soft for your lips but they are not 
lipsticks that are gonna last all day. I hope you guys have learned something from this video. If you were thinking about getting the Naked Heat palette that you do because it is totally worth it. These palettes last a long time. They have 12 shadows. There's so much you can do with this. It is a really great palette and if you guys like all the other Urban Decay Naked palettes that you should definitely try it out. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.